In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse machine of a given machine M. Now inverse machine MI of a given machine M is such a machine that the output string of M, if it is supplied as the input string to MI, it produces exactly the input string of M as output. That means here you can see that SI is the input string to M, it is producing SO as the output. And when this SO is supplied as the input to MI, then it producing it is producing output which is exactly equal to SI. So in that case, what we say that MI is the inverse machine of M. Uh, now how to find out the inverse machine of any given machine uh, that we are going to see in this tutorial. So this is the given machine M and we need to find out the inverse machine of this given M. Now the general case is that where how we are representing if this is a any state of this m then how we are representing is that if the output is zero if the output is uh, we are just producing the transition in this way say it is going to sj for input zero and producing output say something alpha one and it is going to uh, sk and producing output alpha 2 so this is the output of the state transition and for input 0 it is happening it is transiting to si to sj and for input 1 it is going to sk from si so in this way we are representing in this uh, machine m or in general we represented represent these things uh, tabularly now in case of in in order to find out the inverse machine what you need to do is to just reverse the thing now, in case of inverse machine, the input of the machine M is going to become the output of machine MI and the output is going to become the input. So here what we see is that for C, for, 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 for input X is, is equal to 0 to state A, it is going to state C and producing output 1. Now this 1 is going to become the input for the inverse machine. So here it should go to here because it is the input because this output is going to become input here actually this x you should consider it as z and this is x for the corresponding machine m so a goes to c and producing output 1 for input 0 now in case of inverse machine a goes to c for input 1 producing output 0 so output 0 is going to be produced here so c produces 0 for input 1 now again what happens to this for input 1 a goes to d for input 1 and producing 0 it should be converted in this way a goes to d for input 0 producing 1 so it should go to a goes to d for input 0 and it should produce 1 similarly for b what happens here is that b goes to d for input 0 and producing output 0 so b goes to d in the inverse machine for input 0 producing output 0 so b d 0 now b goes to a for input 1 producing 1 in the reverse way it should be b goes to a producing 1 for input 1 so b goes to a producing 1 and the things remain same in case of inverse machine as far as the b is concerned now for c what happens c it goes to b producing output 0 for input 1 so it will be reversed c goes to b for input 0 producing output 1 so c goes to b for input 0 producing output i'm sorry producing output 1 producing output 1 now c goes to d for input 0 producing output 1 it should be reversed c goes to d for input 1 producing output 0 so it should be this then for d what happens it goes to c producing 0 against 0 so it will remain same and it goes to b producing 1 for input 1 so it will produce 1 for input 1 so this is the inverse machine of this given machine so this mi is the inverse machine of this given machine so the given machine is this one x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 next state z now a b c and d find out the inverse of this machine now what we need to do is to 
just inverse the thing for a what is happening here it producing 0 with input 0 so it will do the same thing for a it is going to produce 0 for input 0 so a goes to b with 0 now the same thing happens for this as well because both the things are same now if b for b it goes to c for input 0 producing 1 so in case of the inverse machine b goes to c for input 1 and producing 0 b goes to d for input 0 and producing 1 c goes to a for 0 0 so it will remain same if both these things are same then just write the same thing here now d goes to a for input 0 producing 1 so d goes to a in the inverse machine for input 1 producing 0 d goes to a for input 1 and producing 0 now d goes to c for input 1 producing 0 so d goes to c for input 0 producing 1 so this is the inverse machine mi of this given machine m so in this way we can find out how the inverse machine of a given machine thank you very much